Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother.
starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region part of its national territory. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barents Sea since Saturday, and a Russian flag now flies over the ice field. The Russian president. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night. The American ambassador again informed an emergency meeting of the UN that the United States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barents Sea. Douglas Cuomo, chairman of the UN, announced at a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world war. He called on Russia and the United States to promptly renew talks before things get out of control. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Oh, Keats is Odes. It's one of the books he recommended. So, what do you think? Well, there's a lot of sadness in his poems. Mm. Keats was in love. There's nothing like love to make a man feel more miserable. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheep. <laughs> 